David Zweig is a professor and director of the Center on China's Transnational Relations at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And he joins us now live from Toronto. Thanks so much, sir, for your time for TRT World. Now, I do want to start with one of the most recent reactions that we have. Uh, I mean, China's foreign ministry branch in Hong Kong hit back on countries meddling in this matter, saying proposed laws would not harm the interests of foreign investors in the city. What do you make of this? Well, that clearly would be the position that they would want to take, which is that it will have uh, no impact. Uh, but the, that's something that the foreign investors will have to judge. And uh, if there's unrest, uh, if it becomes more difficult to uh, uh, speak out, if there's uh, uh, different kinds of constraints, people will, under because of this, will start to consider moving to Singapore. Uh, and that will really hurt Hong Kong. So uh, China can say what it wants, and the, but the foreign investors are going to be looking out for their own interests. And, and we have to see how this plays out in terms of the, the freedoms and the freedom of speech, freedom of um, uh, assembly, all these things, that they can have an effect uh, on the business community. Uh, right. And how do you see this uh, latest move uh, done by China? Do you believe this is the end of one country, two systems? Well, I, I see one country, two systems as a continuum, sort of running from uh, two systems where we sort of started back in, in 1997 to one country. And we have been continually moving uh, along the path towards one country, new new regulations, new efforts. Hong Kong has consistently been able to push back on most of those or many of those. But this is a major move towards the the uh, one country, where especially if they impose the issue of uh, threats to national security as a major uh, uh, component of this national security law, and if uh, people can be arrested uh, because of their uh, activities, which in the mainland, it's very easy to interpret all kinds of protest activity as threats to national security. And if that becomes uh, a core part of the what goes on in Hong Kong, then it's really a, a, a mortal blow to, to Hong Kong's future. We've already heard from Carrie Lam saying she will cooperate with Beijing as expected when it comes to this. But what can we expect from the pro-democracy leaders? Can we expect a bigger unrest than the one we've seen a couple of months ago? Or they will come up with some new strategy to fight this? Well, you have to remember that there's two, there's two components to the protest movement. There's the peaceful protest movement, uh, largely made up of middle class, uh, politicians, the kinds of people that you're seeing uh, in your video, uh, those, those right now, right? Those are uh, the peaceful protesters. But th those people, and, and then there's, of course, the violent, the violent protesters. And uh, China would say that this is really targeted at the violent protesters, that they want to introduce the, the state security apparatus from China to be able to do a better job of investigating these people, or the, the, the violent protesters, the, um, and arresting them. Uh, so the extent to which they can keep that focus, then it becomes, uh, you know, one kind of, of, of uh, situation. Uh, if they impose a more widespread uh, uh, perspective where these kinds of peaceful protests are considered to be illegal, uh, then that changes the situation uh, dramatically. And the, the sad thing would be if the legal protests uh, by the middle class were really become uh, very hard to carry out under this, and then uh, more and more people will resort to violence. But then again, you know, they've, they've talked about putting the national security apparatus of China, uh, two of the ministries, into Hong Kong. And if they do that, then uh, Hong Kong, even if people protest, the, 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 these ministries can do a very effective job of arresting, uh, investigating, uh, and stopping a lot of these pro the, the violent protesters as well. David Zweig, thanks so much for your insight for us here at TRT World. He's a professor and director of the Center on China's Transitional Relations at the Hong Kong University. Thanks so much for that.